Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Lee. You're watching Dark Roots Creations, and this is my Halloween book tag. So I originally watched this on Bill Rutenberg's channel. I will also link his video as well as the original creator below. However, the original video is no longer available, but I still want to give credit. So I will leave all that in the description box below. So first up, Carving Pumpkins. What book would you carve up and light on fire? For this, I'm going to pick Kill Kill Faster Faster by Joel Rose. This was one of the biggest wastes of my time ever in my life. And yeah, don't read it. That's all I can say. <laughs> Number two, trick or treat. Which character is a trick? Which character is a treat? For this one, I'm going to go with the book The Good Sister by Sally Hepworth. In this one, it's two sisters, Fern and Rose, and they're each telling a story, one from the past, one in the current. And between the conversations in both stories, you kind of have to decide which sister is the good one and which one is not. So I think that's a good trick or treat. Number three, Candy Corn. What book is always sweet? Um, I'm going to say anything by Debbie Maycomer, but to be more specific, anything Christmas by Debbie Maycomer. Number four, ghosts. What character would you love to visit you as a ghost? I'm gonna go a little different here. I'm trying to change up my answers for some things. For this one, I'm gonna pick Magnus Bane from the Shadowhunter Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. Um, Magnus is a warlock, uh, and a gay warlock if that matters to anybody, and I just think his humor and his, like, impatience for people is funny. So if he ever did die and came back as a ghost, I think it would be fun to hang out with him. Number five, dressing up in costume. What character would you want to be for a day? I'm going to pick Jack Stone from The Witch Squad by M.Z. Andrews. Jack's, um, Jack's mother is like the headmistress of this witch college where everybody's a witch and has their powers and Jax doesn't have any powers. So to make up for that, she constantly dresses like what she thinks a witch would be with like striped saw stockings and a witch's hat and all in black. So even though she doesn't have her powers, she still like rolls with it, like the fake it till you make it. So I think it'd be fun to be her for the day. Number six, wizards and witches. What is your favorite Harry Potter moment? Now I've never read the books, so I only have the movies to go on. And it might be cheesy, but I'm gonna say when the kids go to Hogwarts for the first time up until Christmas, like just seeing Hogwarts during that time was magical. Seeing them experience Hog Hogwarts for the first time and just all the magic that went along with that, that was probably my favorite part. Number seven, Blood and Gore. What book was so creepy that you had to take a break from it for a while? I had to think back on this one because I don't really read like horror or creepy, but I did when I was younger. So thinking back on this, I'm going to go with The New Girl by R.L. Stein, And this was from the Fear Street series. Anyway, that's it. Just a quick fun tag. If any of you want to do it, tag your it. If you still want to answer the questions and you don't have a channel, please feel free to leave your answers below. I would love to read them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.